I remember when you were walking down the aisle to Zach and you whispered over to me and you were like, I'm not attracted to him, but I'm right. going for it. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It is just so funny. Like I just looked down the aisle and I was like, ew, let's do it. Here I go. <laughs> hey guys, this is Krista Bethany here with Girl Defined and I'm just here to laugh at how unattractive my husband is. Like, have I mentioned how unattractive I am to my husband? Like, <laughs> So funny, right? Just gonna post this on my YouTube channel. It's just funny, right? It's not gonna hurt his feelings. Like what could be wrong with that? Good Lord, said the atheist. I was just like not attracted at all, you know? Like it just zero? Yeah, I would say like zero. So Bethany here is talking about a guy she dated before her husband. Uh, Kristen, unfortunately, is talking about her current husband, so I feel for him. Did you find him unattractive? I, mean, I didn't find him unattractive. There just wasn't anything there. It wasn't that spark. There okay. wasn't. Cupid wasn't around. Um, and so, <laughs> no, he was. He was missing. It was like, I'm trying. Oh, I still feel bad for him, though. Even if it's not her current husband, I hope he's not watching, because that's humiliating. I think that physical attraction is important. And it isn't. <laughs> I mean, it's really important and it's really not important. I remember when you were walking down the aisle to Zach and you whispered over to me and you were like, I'm not attracted to him, but I'm right. going for it. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> like, not only are you talking about your husband publicly like this, um, and aren't these women all about respecting the men and the husbands and stuff? Anyway, not only are you doing this publicly, um, but you are recalling your wedding day supposedly one of the most important days in your life and the moment before walking down the aisle you whisper to your sister like this guy ah that is just so messed up and i'm just completely lacking morals i'm this atheist over here no one to tell me right from wrong and i even think that's bad what's that say so this was actually a question that i was asked on my personal instagram like yesterday and someone was asking how important is physical attraction in a relationship and this actually hit really close home to home for me. I am getting such like an overwhelming mean girls vibe from this video. Like they're just sitting there kind of like poking fun at the guy that one of them dated and the guy that one of them is married to, bless his heart. And just kind of giggling and laughing and saying these things so publicly. I don't just, it just feels so wrong. It feels so wrong. Am I the only one? I mean, does it not feel like a weird like high school click mean girls vibe kind of thing? Yeah, I don't like it. So this is just the tip of what they have to say. I mean, we're gonna get into it. I knew a girl and she was very beautiful and this guy had expressed interest in her and from the world standards, he wasn't that attractive. And everyone that was close to her, I remember she told me this years later, was telling her like, hey, you know, you're way too pretty for him. Like, <laughs> I actually really hate this type of thing. I mean, like if you're really that shallow of a person, it should never come out of your mouth ever that someone is too good looking for someone else. Like. That is so horrible. I have seen some gorgeous people in my life be terrible human beings. And to me, no matter how you dress it up, that's ugly. Kind of like how giggly we're being in this video about other people. Like honestly, being completely honest, I think both of these girls are actually very pretty. I think they're very pretty girls. Um, but I do not think the words that they say are beautiful at all. Anyway, back to the story about this random girl that she knows. Let's go. I'm not that attracted to him. And so she kind of dismissed it. Like he had expressed interest, asked her out or whatever. And she was like, oh, I'm not attracted. But she decided in her heart, just in the privacy of her own heart before the Lord, she would pray about this guy. Dear Lord, I am interested in this guy, but he's just really not attractive. And I'm just praying about it because I'm desperate and alone and if you could just make me attracted to him so I could be in a relationship, that'd be great, thanks. And as she entered into a relationship with this guy that she initially wasn't attracted to, as time went on, she found herself attracted to him <laughs> and so they crazy. ended up getting married and now have a beautiful family. And it's just a crazy, crazy. story. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> First of all, I will give them this. It is not uncommon to end up with someone you were not initially attracted to. However, and here's where we differ. I don't think you should enter a relationship with someone that you're not attracted to. And I know they'll agree with this point later on in the video, but attraction is an important part of a romantic relationship. If you're going to be romantic with someone, you know, might come in handy for the handy. Just kidding, don't do that. Who does that? Do people still that? Anyway. And in this society, especially what's coming out of Hollywood, attraction is 
everything. Yeah. It's like that sexual attraction, chemistry. Totally. Like first glance, Cupid, psh, you know, normally it's not because you know their heart and character. It's like Cupid totally. strikes you, right? And then it's like all about the physical. Okay, so now they're going to make the very obvious point that you can't build a relationship and eventually a marriage off of physical attraction alone. I'm really, really glad they told me this because otherwise, who would have thunk it? No, physical attraction is not the only thing you should look for in a relationship, obviously. But you can't enter into a relationship if you don't have that. And they're suggesting that that's what you do. They're not just saying that sometimes you can meet somebody and not think that there's something there and then over time you realize that there is. That's fine. But wait to enter the relationship until it's there. Right? Sidetrack, little story about me. I actually got to a point where I was so disgusted with dating and guys and all the things that I genuinely thought that I would not be able to feel attraction again to anyone ever. <laughs> Obviously this was circumstantial because of, you know, some bad experiences that I had, but I thought I was gonna die alone with 20 cats. But then you know what happened, I met someone amazing. And, well I mean, to be honest, I was attracted to him right off the bat. <laughs> Didn't think I could be attracted to anyone, and then that happened, poof! I felt so much of an emotional attachment to him, and yes, in that I will agree with Girl Defined that that is very important. But would I ever force attraction because I think someone's like a good person? No, I think that's miserable. But she was willing to take a chance and I think that's yeah. kind of what you did as well. Yeah. It doesn't mean it always ends in marriage. But yeah, well I mean I think that's the hard part because like with me I was approached by a young man. I God, they're so annoying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's just, oof. It's probably more of what they're saying than how they're saying it, but because what they're saying is so horrible, how they say it is extremely annoying. And he was super interested. So formal. And I was just like not attracted at all, you know? Like it just zero? Yeah, I would say like zero. So this guy that she dated, I guess, before her husband, she had zero attraction to. At no point in knowing this person did she hold attraction. <laughs> But they did! I just don't think that should be a thing. But that's just me. You do you. And you'll just only be doing you. Did you find him unattractive? I, mean, I didn't find him unattractive. There just wasn't anything there. It wasn't that spark. There okay. wasn't. Cupid wasn't around. Um, and so... <laughs> no, he was. He was missing. It was like, I'm trying. And so... Oh, this poor guy. Could you imagine being this guy in the relationship? And also, like, let's not forget to mention that it's also an incredible waste of his time. If you're, like almost leading someone on, and I'm not saying she's totally leading him on because clearly the intention was for a spark to ignite at some point, it just didn't. But like, if you're forcing it that hard and you know there's a chance it will never be there, you are risking wasting that person's time. And I think that's pretty disrespectful. Not that being disrespectful is an issue because here we are in a YouTube video shitting on this guy, so. Let's keep going. I remember though thinking about it and we were just kind of chatting and I decided that I was going to, you know, kind of get to know him because I really admired his heart and just his yeah. character. It sounds like you'd make a great friend then. Just, you can, you can know people. You can have people in your life. You can be friends, acquaintances with people even. You don't have to date them. I think the dating part should only happen after you are interested in them in an intimate way. Otherwise, what is, what is dating? I mean, just be friends. And I know so many of us we will not even be willing to get to know a guy because we're like, oh, I wasn't initially attracted, so I'm not gonna get to know you. And we could be missing out on a great potential future spouse. Can these girls not make friends with guys? I mean, am I missing something that they've said before where they're like, it is unbiblical to have friends that are of the opposite sex. Like, that's kind of how they're acting. Give attraction the chance to grow. <laughs> Ugh. Um, I gave it the biggest chance yes. possible, y'all. And I gave it I everything for I this. could. Yeah, I gave it everything mm -hmm. I could. I sought counsel, I did everything. And at the end of the day, basically everyone, even some of his mentors were advising me, like, you know, if you are just, you have given it everything. <laughs> uh, she went to his, his advisors. So imagine going to people, obviously he trusts and being like, He's really nice, but like just zero, zero attraction. Like I feel nothing. Cupid missed. How so incredibly humiliating would it be for that guy? Oh my God, I feel so bad. I'm just so curious now about their actual current relationship. So I'm I'm doing some snooping right now. Um, Bethany's Instagram, here she is with her husband. When Dave and I first got married, I decided that I wanted to let my husband be himself. I didn't want to change his personality or force him to be anything that he wasn't. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna say, I'm gonna move on. So this is Kristen and her husband, and this is like a 10 year old post. She's like commemorating 10 years of marriage, good Lord. And this is the guy who she said she felt no attraction to, lol, before she went down the aisle. I mean, I think he's a good looking guy. I mean, like that's not everything, I guess, but I just feel bad for him, whatever. I know they just adopted children. The other one had a baby not long ago and they're out there starting their families. I really truly hope the best for them. I hope they're very happy now and have found all the fulfillment in the world, not trying to hate on anybody's family. Um, but this video just seems a little mean. And if there is just nothing in your heart that even is the tiniest of spark, like, you know, attraction isn't everything, but even like these godly people that were married and much older than me were all in agreement. Like, we just think it's probably not meant to be, you know, like it's just not maybe the best. You think? I mean, at least the people that she was going to had some good advice, I guess. Because you do want to at least start with that attraction. You want to at least have it there. And so I kind you want to at least end with it, right? Yeah. Walking down the aisle, not going, oh, yeah. I can't believe I'm about to marry this person. Wait, you just, are, you're the one that said you walked down the aisle being like, I'm not attracted, but here I go, hello. I remember when you were walking down the aisle to Zach and you whispered over to me and you were like, I'm not attracted to him, but I'm right. going for it. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> Walking down the aisle, not going, oh, yeah. I can't believe I'm about to marry this person. Do you not remember what you said like five seconds ago? Or if it's only about the physical yeah. attraction, which is what so much of what the world says matters, like that's what true love is based on, then that's going to be pretty rough yeah. over time. Who says it? You, you keep, they keep acting like this is just everyone believes that all you need is physical attraction. Everyone says that. All these books on relationships and marriage and all these, you know, people that are out there giving advice and making videos and all the therapists that everyone just keeps saying all you need is to think they're hot they're not giving any earth shattering advice here like everyone already knows that you should have an emotional ugh. pursue it pray about it try mm -hmm, mm -hmm, if it's not there though mm -hmm. like maybe go from there okay we gotta wrap this and up and then just look at the guy and go like this <laughs> okay no thank you <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, thank you. When you were single, if you're married, are you attracted to your husband? No, don't answer that. Okay, well, you can cultivate it when you're Leave married. Leave a comment in the comment section. <laughs> don't answer that because like, you know, all these people are gonna be up on our comments saying you're not attracted to their husbands and that couldn't cause a problem, right? Because why would ever saying that you're not attracted to your husband on a very public platform cause a problem? I can't think of any. Who would do that? <laughs> And then the other one's like, you can cultivate it after you're married. Well, you can cultivate it when you're Leave married. Literally, what, these, they don't remember what they just said. She just gave a whole speech about the guy who she dated before. She tried and she just couldn't get there. So they ended up not getting married. But then here she is screaming, oh, but you can go ahead and cultivate it after marriage. Because that's what the other one did. They're just nothing lines up. It's all very like back and forth and, and scatterbrained and just basically overall pretty terrible. So this video currently has 55,000 views, 413 likes, and I don't know how many dislikes because those are hidden now. By the way, before we get into this, I'm just gonna read some of these comments on this video because I think it's hilarious. Uh, before we get into it though, if you could like this video, click that little like button, it would really mean a lot to me because likes do help a lot boost videos in the algorithm and YouTube just keeps trying to shit on me. Just go ahead and hash Hashtag bless this video with a like, thanks. Okay, so their first comment on this video, what do you think? Share your thoughts with us below. And oh, people shared their thoughts, okay. No joke, I feel terrible for their husbands. I can't imagine hearing my wife say that she wasn't attracted to me on our wedding day on the internet for thousands of people to hear. Yes, exactly what I've been saying. Like, it just, it's messed up. I'm really glad I'm not the only one feeling these things. Y'all are sitting here acting like not being attracted to the person you're marrying is normal. This is so many levels of wrong, I can't even. I literally cannot even either. Girl, no. Oh my God, so many funny comments. As a Christian, this is one of the most depressing videos I've ever watched on YouTube. I have so many thoughts, where do I even begin? I same. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are funny in the comments. She really just admitted to saying she doesn't find her husband attractive while walking down the aisle, right? That was super messed up. And then later on she was like, it's not like you're walking down the aisle. I forget, it was it was hypocritical. If I was the husband, I'd be so upset and embarrassed. Yes, all these comments are great. Glad I'm not the only one. I would love to hear what you guys think on this video too. So if you think this is just as, as insane as I do, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what you think. Yeah, I had fun with this video. I hope you guys had a laugh out of it or at least scratched your head a little bit just cause you know, it's, it's a little odd <laughs> to say the least. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. You would a lot if you subscribe. Gonna be having a lot more fun this year, posting a lot more fun, lighthearted videos, just gonna say what I feel and not worry about it, cause damn it, 
there's a lot of cringe out there. And oh, by the way, on my Twitter, if you want to send me links to videos that you think are cringy in whatever capacity, it doesn't even have to be religion, I would love to see it because I really am having fun this year just, you know, sitting back and laughing at all the stupid that exists out on the internet. And I know there's no shortage. So if you find something that you really want me to talk about, go ahead and tweet me a link and I am excited to see what your suggestions are for videos. Also, please do follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I've been posting a lot of fun videos on TikTok, lots of cute stuff. So follow me over there, it would mean a lot. And most important of all, if you could subscribe to the vlog channel, youtube.com slash Jacqueline Vlogs. I've been posting lots of fun, cute videos of my family life on there and it means a lot to me. It's like my special storage place for happy memories. So check it out. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.